Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Final Round of Beer Review. We gotta drink a beer. A beer by a big guy. Which lets you know which one of these we're drinking, right? It's from Blue Moon, Molson Coors. I said Blue Moon, but it's actually Belgian Moon here. Uh, part of a, a copyright lawsuit because there is a there's a specific brewery in Ontario, a craft brewery in Ontario, that took out a lot of copyrights on things that American companies use so that they couldn't use them in Canada if they came to Canada. And Blue Moon had to be called Belgian Moon because of that. Uh, so Belgian Moon is Blue Moon. The beers are basically the exact same. Uh, this is 3.9% alcohol by volume. It is Honey Days. It is crafted with real honey. Um, contains barley and wheat. Is that all it gives me for ingredients? Yeah, it just says barley and wheat, so it doesn't actually tell me honey is in there because there's no actual ingredients list. I mean, the only thing telling me there's honey in there is this here. And a lot of people don't believe anything that the uh, big guys say on their cans. Uh, will it do what it says in the tin? I don't know. But there's the honey, the, the, the like scoop of honey they always show you in all the adverts. Uh, I'm actually kind of weirded out that they don't have an ingredients list on here. Of any type, because this was a Canadian purchase. Usually you see, you know, water, malt, hops, wheat all that stuff but no you're not seeing that here brewed under license okay let's do it 3.9 I like that I do I, I like my lower ABV beer so I like the 3.9 idea okay nice golden color crystal clear slightly off white head there is a snap crackle pop to it. I'd hold it up to the camera so you could hear it, but all you can hear is Big Bertha back behind me here. Uh, again, sent out of the can. It's sweet. It actually kind of... Out of the can, it kind of has the scent of uh, Sleeman and honey. Glass. To be honest, the glass kind of smells like Sleeman honey as well, and I'm not a big... I'm not a big fan of honey browns or most honey ales or lagers, to be honest with you. Uh, there's not a lot of them that I find to be well-rounded or anything like that. I mean, I can I can drink Sleeman Honey Brown. I can drink it because I'm an Irish alcoholic. I can do it, but I'm not I'm not big on it. Let's try it. Cheers. Very light, very airy. Okay. So Belgian Moon, Blue Moon, has been said by a lot of people in the know to be basically the recipe for Rickard's White with a slightly different hop variant. But the recipes were almost identical other than the hop variant. Um, for those of you that were a big Rickards drinker, and you might remember this, this reminds me sort of of a lighter, more watered-down version of Rickards Honey Brown. Uh, obviously, it's not Rickards Honey Brown. It's not the same recipe because, I mean, it isn't a honey brown color. It was a golden color. Um, but that beard reminds me of it. It's, it's kind of just nonchalant, sweet, beery. Beery. It's a beer. It's a beer. Fuck, it looks like I have a double... I do have a double chin, but you can't see it under the beard, but it looks like my beard is a double chin, right? Like, ah. Um... I... I it's not bad. It's 3.9% alcohol. I could drink a couple of them if I really wanted to. I don't really want to, though. Uh... Yeah, out of 10... A 6.75? Like... If somebody else bought it, I'd be perfectly fine with it. But the taste 
just don't play well. And it's not that the tastes are bad, it's that they set off the paradigms in my mind. They set off the memories of Rickard's Honey Brown, and I hated Rickard's Honey Brown. So the fact that that makes me think of it makes me not like it. But I can't say there's a brewing fault or a flavor that I really dislike. I just don't like the flavor. So 675, again, I as long as I'm not putting my money into it, I could drink it again. If I if somebody else bought it, I could drink it again. If I bought it, I wouldn't drink it again, type of thing. Oh, ooh, that one was a knot. Uh yeah. So thank you guys. Bye-bye.